Hello, and welcome to Great Pal Battery Monday. My name is Zach, and this is our first episode where we test batteries in a laboratory setting to show you the most realistic results. Today, we will review our testing results of lithium iron phosphate, Life EPO4, batteries. Did you know that they are considered much safer compared to other lithium based batteries? Knowing this, what happens if we overcharge a lithium iron phosphate battery? Let's find out. In this experiment, we tested two different samples with a lithium iron phosphate soft pack battery, also known as a lithium iron phosphate pouch cell. The first sample was a high discharge rate lithium iron phosphate battery with a 10C rating, 2100 milliamp hour capacity, and the model number is below. The battery specs are as follows. Nominal voltage, 3.2 volts. Fully charged voltage, 3.65 volts. Typical capacity was 2100 milliamp hours. Starting voltage was 3.0 volts. Charging current was 6.3 amps, which is equal to 3C. During this experiment, the environmental temperature and humidity in the room where the battery was tested was controlled. The environmental temperature was at 25 Celsius to 25.5 Celsius, and the humidity was at 44.8%. First off, we placed the battery in a safety box, connected the charger, and connected an HK3560 battery tester that can detect the voltage and temperature of the battery in real time. The voltage of this battery started at 3.0 volts and used a 3C rate fast charging to charge this battery. In other words, it had a 6.3 amp charging current. At 17 minutes and 18 seconds, the batteries reached 3.65 volts, which made it fully charged. Normally we would have stopped here, but we wanted to see what happens if we overcharge a lithium iron phosphate battery. So we kept charging this battery, and after 24 minutes, the battery charged to 10 volts. And there was no signs of fire, but the battery did swell. We continued to charge the battery at 10 volts for 7 hours to see if any other problems would arise with the battery. With our next sample, we tested another high discharge rate lithium iron phosphate battery, but this time with a 20C rating and a thousand milliamp hour capacity. Model number is below. And here are the battery specs. Nominal voltage, 3.2 volts. Fully charged voltage, 3.65 volts. The typical capacity, 1000 milliamp hours. Starting voltage, 2.9 volts. Charging current, 3 amps, which is equal to 3C. And the environment temperature was again 25 Celsius to 25.5 Celsius and the humidity was at 44.8%. Similar to the previously tested battery, we used 3C fast charging to test this battery from 2.9 volts to 10 volts. The battery reached 3.65 volts in 18 minutes and 34 seconds, and we continued to charge the battery at 10 volts for seven hours. During the seven hours of continuous charging of the battery, we took a picture of the battery every hour, and the battery didn't emit any smoke or fire. We'll post the details on our official blog. The link can be found in the description below. So, we didn't see any spectacular fires or explosions that are normally expected with overcharged batteries. The very fact that we didn't get these dangerous results just reflects how safe lithium iron phosphate batteries can be. Of course, although we did experiment with these batteries, we do not recommend overcharging your batteries, regardless if they are lithium cobalt oxide or lithium iron phosphate. Overcharging batteries can potentially be dangerous. They are hazardous materials, which is why we only conducted this test in our lab. In other words, please do not attempt to recreate these experiments as we are professionals. In general, lithium iron phosphate batteries should not explode or ignite. Lithium iron phosphate batteries are safer over normal use and time, but this statement is not an absolute and they can be dangerous in extreme cases. A fire explosion is still definitely possible, but the chances are insanely low under proper usage. Since the lithium iron phosphate formula is designed to be better thermodynamically, its thermal stability and structural stability are among the best of all current cathode materials. And they've been verified in actual safety performance tests. Regardless, the possibility of short-circuiting from materials and batteries is inherent. More than anything, what we want to pass on in this video is that the most common causes for premature failure of lithium iron phosphate cells are overcharging 
and over discharging. Even a single occurrence can cause permanent damage to the cell. And such misuse will void warranties. Well, that's it for today. Thank you for coming to another Grey Pal Battery Monday. My name is Zach, and we'll be seeing you next time.